Hey guys, Randy Birdsong from Headhunters TV, just rolling back in from Ohio, trying to get regrouped and get reset for Missouri here. We're going out this afternoon, but I wanted to take a second and go over a couple of things that I always keep in my pack. One of those being the Scent Killer Gold Field Wipes. You know, these things are super handy. If you don't have time to take a shower or maybe you're somewhere that, you know, that don't have running water in a remote camp somewhere, these things are super handy to wipe off with. Um, you know, they come, they're, they, they have vitamin E and aloe in them, so they're good for your skin. You can use them directly on your skin. They're good for wiping off your, uh, you know, your bow or, or accessories, whatever you might have in the field, cleaning your hands up after you field dress a deer. These things always stay in my pack, man. There's 24 of them that come in a package. And uh, like I said, I never go to the field without them. Check them out, the Scent Killer Gold Field Wipes by Wildlife Research Center. Hey, if you like cold weather camping during bow season like I do, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind to keep yourself safe in your tent at night. You know, the big thing, you know, we're trying to keep warm at night and we got that propane heater running in there. Now, a lot of them do have a carbon monoxide detector that will shut off the heater uh, if the levels rise too high, but it's always good to have a backup. So I've got here a $20 uh, carbon monoxide alarm that I picked up at the local big box store. And I highly recommend you put one of those in your tent. And then the other thing too, always keep your door open just a little bit. Carbon monoxide is heavier than air, so it'll seep out through the bottom of your door. The heat's gonna rise, it'll keep you warm. So do those two things. You have carbon monoxide detector, keep that door open, make sure you can wake up in the morning to get into tree stand. Hey, I'm Dennis LaPelle, and that's another tip on Midwest Outdoors.